and welcome to this week's YouTube video. Today I'm going to talk about long haired and short haired flat brushes and why I use both in my painting process equally but for completely different things. In this video I will show you what I think they are useful for painting. So just to be clear I am comparing a synthetic short haired flat brush, I think this one is a pro art brush, with a Rosemary & Co long haired comber. This one is in their Eclipse range. Very different in price too. I'm sure you can guess which one is the more expensive one. Brushes are important in your painting process and knowing which to use can really help. If you are using the wrong brush for what you are attempting to paint, it will make it much harder for you. So I am going to look at both of these brushes individually and explain where and how I use them in my painting process. So first of all then, the synthetic short head flat brush. If you've looked at the other videos on my channel, you'll notice that I paint lots of animals. So in the context of where I would use this brush in my painting, I would use a short head flat brush to tackle short furred animals or animals that have short haired fur on parts of their body. So for example, this dog was painted pretty much with a short haired flat brush. Using a flat short haired brush allows me to build up the structure of this dog's face using cross contour lines. So just to explain what I mean, Cross contour lines flow over the form of the object exactly like this. They can flow both vertically and horizontally. By adding contour lines in this way, rather than just haphazardly adding straight lines without much thought, my object will have a stronger sense of form about it. Notice how my brush strokes on this dog painting flow around the form of the dog and this helps communicate an illusion of solidness and weight to my object. I find flat brushes are great for following the cross contour lines of an object and they really help me build up the structure of my form. I also find flat brushes are great for producing long smooth strokes which is ideal for cross contouring. You can use these brushes expressively too by adding the strokes quickly to give a sense of movement to what you are painting. However, the problem with short haired flat brushes are that they cannot easily lay wet on wet paint and they tend to pull the paint off from underneath. So very often I will paint an area with short fur in layers because the type of brush I want to use will not allow me to build up my contouring lines in paint a la prima. Onto my long haired coma then, I would use this brush for painting long haired fur expressively. So for example, this spaniel painting, its muzzle was painted with a flat brush and the longer hair on the ears and neck with a long haired coma. Even though I build up my layers generally, I would always paint a long haired section of fur in one go. Usually on layers three, sometimes on layers two if I'm being particularly speedy with that painting. But I will always put my thicker paint on in one go, a la prima. This is because to paint these areas effectively, you need to be able to push and pull the paint around without pulling paint up. These brushes are soft enough to lay paint over paint and also to blend the edges. I am painting an impression of soft fur. I don't want a brush that is going to give me hard edges. I need to keep my edges soft and this brush will help me do this. You can see from the painting demo how I am able to pull the brush about and be very expressive with soft strokes. This is what you are aiming for when painting longer fur. So I would say that neither a short haired flat brush or a long haired flat brush is better. 
The trick is to know what you need for what area you are trying to paint and to vary your brush accordingly. I hope you have found today's video useful. Please like and subscribe if you can and check out my website sarahhallidayart.com where you will find examples of my work and also online lessons that I run. Thank you for watching and see you for the next one.